Afternoon VC. Uh, should be a short video this week. Um, only five records here to talk about today. Um, but some good ones. Um, <clears throat> and a, quite a few genres here represented in this little small batch of records. But uh, and, uh, Marion Brown and Summerhausen on the Kalig label. I uh, found this at Amoeba. Los Angeles. Um, they had a crazy avant free jazz sale, but uh, Alex Alex didn't see this one in there, so maybe it's from some other collection that they got. But uh, yeah, 1969 on the German label Kalig. It was made in West Germany at the time. Um, there's some fantastic playing on this. Um, and honestly, Marion Brown lets the group really kind of have their way at times with this. Um, and on the B side, there's a lot of vocals uh, from Gene Lee and another guy. And I'm not really big on the vocals, but Marion Brown's playing when he is playing on this is f absolutely fantastic. The tone he gets on the sax is killer. Um, real spiritual on the, on the A side. Um, B side a little different, but um, the, it's a live performance, um, and and a good one. Um, it's an interesting. It's a weird sleeve, but uh, yeah, the Kalig label. I just showed another record on this label. This uh, there's two pressings of this. There's one with a different label, a different Kalig label. Um, like a yellow one. I think it's a later repress. So I was happy to find an original copy of this. It had been on the want list for quite a long time. Um, I was just waiting. To f a lot of stuff on my want list I, I just is overseas and I don't care to order from overseas is that much. So I try to wait till something pops up here. Um, next, this is one... Uh, I don't know, I got talking to Dom and uh, Alex about this record. I don't know why it even came up, but um, I thought it was an expensive record, and it turns out it's not. Um, Alex was like, he didn't he didn't think it was uh, pricey, and it, it, it isn't. Um, so I was happy to find a copy. Uh, Marion Brown, Afternoon of a Georgia Fawn on ECM, and this is a uh, U.S. original white label promo. This is an extremely difficult listen. Um, it's gonna take me a few more times to digest this one. Uh, 1970, so a similar time frame to in Summerhausen, but um, yeah, this this and the Wolfgang Downer are pretty out there when it comes to ECM. This is not your typical ECM sound on this one. Um, yeah, free improv to the extreme. Um, yeah, Marion Brown, Afternoon of a Georgia Fawn. Uh, that's a well-known record and a, fav a favorite among a lot of VC, but that's that's not my favorite Marion Brown. But it, like I said, it wasn't that pricey and uh, was a promo, so I grabbed it. Next is a new release from OCs, A Foul Form. And this is definitely a different album for them. Um, Castle Face Records from this year. Uh, this is the Permanent Records version. They had their own special pressing made because it's their the OC's home store. And this is so this was on a, kind of a translucent purple. Um, and I don't know. I don't think there were that many pressed for the store. It's got a nice insert um, as well in a download. And yeah, this is this is punk. Um, this is more in the. Well, I think they even cover a rudimentary Teen Eye song. It's more in that vein. Yeah, sacrifice the last track, but um, they're always just put, they're always putting something out. So, and I, I'm usually gonna pick it up. And their their pressings are really done well. This is pressed in Czechoslovakia. Um, but yeah, so you know, it's a 
45 RPM, short songs, rock and stuff. Next we have, this was, this was a nice find. Um, I've been reading this, uh, this book on Japanese psych and found one of the records that they were talking about. This is a Far East family band, the Cave Down to the Earth on the Muland label, an original Japanese pressing from 1975. And still got the obi and the insert and everything. Um, this is really good Japanese psych leaning on prog. Um, some of their later stuff gets more, more in the prog realm. This is more in the heavier guitar psych realm um so i really dig this one um i found this in a record store in new york so that was a nice find did not have to import it and then last but not least um this one's well combination of uh steve carlson's fault and uh vinyl richie's fault um the cramps songs the lord taught us um Starting to really get into the, into this group because the vocalist reminds me a lot of John Spencer, kind of somewhere in between Elvis and John Spencer with the vocals, and I dig it. Um, and the guitar is really good, heavy on this, um, rocking stuff. Um, this one's kind of more straight ahead, uh, rocking, and this is a original promo from 1980. Really nice copy, and I spun this as freaking near mint um, as far as how it plays. But there's your labels on the uh, yeah, illegal records. Um, it's a split with another record label, um, IRS. Yeah, and this this might. I, I, this pressing is not on Discogs, this this promo. There's other promos that are completely just blank white labels, UK copies. I think this is a US promo from 1980, kind of a, basically a, a promo of a repress is kind of what I'm thinking, but uh, either way, this is a killer LP. Um, so yeah, short update this week. Hope everybody's well. Peace.